Hello friends, welcome to Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials and today we will discuss the commercial production of dihydrogen. That how dihydrogen is produced commercially. Let's see that. Whenever, whenever the steam will react with coal, coke or hydrocarbons at a very high temperature which is 1270 Kelvin in the presence of a catalyst, nickel, it will give dihydrogen along with the CO. This is the production of dihydrogen on commercial scale. Let's discuss it. When we react coal, coke or hydrocarbons, whenever we will make the coal, coke or hydrocarbons react with steam at very high temperature which is 1270 Kelvin in the presence of a catalyst, nickel, it will give the dihydrogen. Now coming to this reaction, this is the general reaction which we will discuss in the case of hydrocarbons. You can see that there is CN, H2N plus 2 which is the general formula of alkanes. This is the general formula of alkanes. Whenever an alkene, alkane is reacting with N moles of steam, it will give NCO plus 2N plus 1 H2. Let's discuss it in a simple manner. Agar hum N ki jaga, if we will put N equals to 1, okay? CN, C1, H2N plus 2. H will become 4, okay? And H2O, 1 H2O. Here, NCO, 1 CO plus 2N plus 1. Since N is 1, 2N plus 1 will become 3. 3 H2 gas. This is the general formula. If you know that, you can write the reaction for any hydrocarbon with the steam in the presence of nickel catalysis at very high temperature to produce dihydrogen gas. If we will write C2H2N plus 2, 2 to the 4 plus 6 that is C2H6 ethane plus here N is 2, 2H2O. We will write the same thing, same temperature, same catalyst. After that, NCO, here N is 2. So, there will be 2CO plus. Now, here 2N plus 1 will become 2 into 2 plus 1. It will be 5H2. So, if you will know, if you are known to the general reaction, you can write the other reaction. So, I will advise you to learn the general reaction to produce the dihydrogen gas using a hydrocarbon reacting with the steam in the presence of very high temperature which is 1270 Kelvin in the presence of catalyst nickel. Okay, now coming to the next thing, this mixture of CO and H2, this mixture of CO and H2 generally produce with the reaction of steam on hydrocarbons and coke and coal at very high temperature in the presence of nickel is known as water gas. Is known as water gas since they were reacting with the steam. Okay. That's why the products which were getting, which we were getting when the hydrocarbons, coke and coal were reacting with the steam at very high temperature. This product was known as water gas. It is also known as synthesis gas or syn gas. It is also known as synthesis gas or syn gas because this product, this mixture of gases CO and H2 is also used to produce many hydrocarbons and methanol also. Methanol and many other hydrocarbons that were, that's the reason it was called synthesis gas or we can say that is the reason it is called syngas okay
same from synthesis getting that after that coming to the next thing from the very starting i am saying that the reaction of steam on a very high temperature which is 1270 kelvin in the presence of catalyst nickel is called the commercial production reaction now when it happens with the coal agar yahan pe hydrocarbons if we will replace the hydrocarbon with the coal or coke it will be like that c plus h2o same conditions will give co plus h2 it is carbon monoxide carbon monoxide plus water so whenever it is happening with the coal and coke it is called coal gasification because in this case sorry in this case we are getting the water gas or syn gas by the reaction of steam on the coal so it is called coal gasification now coming to the third thing which is water gas shift reaction so what is that whenever we are getting the product c plus co plus h2 that is carbon monoxide monoxide plus that hydrogen if you want to increase its production if you want to increase the production of h2 particularly from this mixture isi mixture se hame agar h2 ka production banana hai we will take the co from this mixture and we will let it react further with the steam usko dobara se steam ke sath mein hum react karwayenge we will let it react with the steam further but now we will change this condition the temperature will be 673 kelvin and there will be a different catalyst which is iron chromate that is FeCrO4 it is known as iron chromate if we will let the carbon monoxide which we are getting from the uh, sorry which we are getting from the reaction of steam with coal coke or hydrocarbons on these particular situations we can use it by this method okay we can produce more dihydrogen using co making it react with further steam on 673 kelvin in the presence of iron chromate and we will get more we will get co2 plus h2 gas we will get co2 plus h2 gas here it was carbon monoxide this gas is shifting from carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide if there is a shift in this gas from carbon mono to carbon dioxide because of the steam okay water gas shift reaction it was the one of the gases which we were getting from the above reaction and it is one of the gases of the mixture of water gas so water gas mein jo gas present thi co okay other than dihydrogen which we want other than dihydrogen there was co which we wanted to uh, produce more dihydrogen or dihydrogen produce karne ke liye humne is gas ko use kiya hai which was one of the gases of water gas and we shifted it we shifted it from carbon mono to carbon dioxide got that now from this reaction we will get a mixture of carbon dioxide plus dihydrogen and this can be removed from this mixture of co2 plus h2 by scrubbing it with the solution of sodium arsenide okay sodium arsenide if we will scrub this mixture with sodium arsenide it will be removed and we will get dihydrogen so it is all about the commercial production of dihydrogen and if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching